guys um, today I'll be doing this transparent bubble manipulation and um, I'm just basically going to be trying to extract this from the background and make it transparent so we can put it into a sky and um, put something in it so it's kind of cool effect I guess and um, <coughs> yeah so I'll be showing you how to do that so I'll just start file new 3000 by 1600 300 um, I'll start by dragging in a sky image and resizing it a bit um, I might put it somewhere around there might just go layer, duplicate layer, OK, and go to multiply. And then I'll just bring the opacity down a little bit. I'm just um, making it a little bit darker, more contrast. So I hold shift and click on the bottom one to select them both. Right click and merge layers. Alright, so that's our, our sky. I want um, I want a bit of light on this side so it's darker there. So. I'll just go layer, new layer, OK, then grab the gradient tool, make sure and click here, make sure it's on black to white, and um, I'm just doing that, um, so it's more lighter on this side, so again to the blending modes, and go, we'll go soft light, just so it's um, lighter here, so we've got a bit of lighting to dark, and um, Again, I'll bring the opacity down. I only really want it to, um, so I just have the effect of this side's darker than this. So, probably, probably about 50%. And this is a little bit dark here, but that won't matter. So that's, that's our sky. Now I'll go into the bubble and, um, this is a quick quick selection tool and then I'll just click around that and a little bit there and then I'll go to this and um, I can just drag it in and put it there and then I'll resize it with shift I'll place it there so to make this transparent it's a lot easier we don't want we don't want the blue basically so and it's a lot easier to do if we go Im image adjustments, hue and saturation, and then bring the saturation all the way down. Because it's just a lot easier to knock that background out if with blending modes if it's black and white. So now we'll go mo um, <laughs> normal. Click click on this, go multiply, and um, I'm going to duplicate this because it looks pretty ordinary ordinary right now. So layer, duplicate layer, and then we'll go to the blending modes again and go to overlay. So that's overlay and multiply. Because this is on the darker side, like I'll select both of them. Um, it looks a little bit different um, on like the light side to the dark side. So because it's on the dark side. I'll click on the multiply layer again and I'll bring that down to say 50% maybe. <coughs> so that's our transparent bubble. So that looks okay. And um so now I'll go to the dolphin, go up to the quick selection tool, and I'll just make a quick selection of this this guy. Um Alright, so this is a quick selection tool. If you click here, oh, that's the this one's to add to the selection and this one's to take away. So if I click take away, I can take that bit away I didn't want. But if I cl click back to plus, um, if you don't want to use them, you can ho hold alt and see how it turns to a minus. So I can take away what I want there, but um, I want that bit so. 
Yeah, so by holding Alt, you don't have to click up the top here. But yeah, just a rough selection. So I've got my selection, and then I'm going to drag it into the ma manipulation. So these um are resizing a bit so he fits the bubble, and I'll place place him there. I want this behind everything. I mean, not everything, but um the two bubble layers. <coughs> so he's got this um kind of blue blue cast on him as well. So I'll go down to adjustments, hue and saturation, then right click, create clipping mask, and where it says master, I'll go down to I think maybe blues. No, not blues. So cyan might cyan might be better. And see how that just knocks knocks um that blue out that was on the on the side of him there. And that's only affecting <coughs> this dolphin layer because I've clipped it to him. And then another trick I do to blend this into the background is um I'll grab the sky and I'll go layer, duplicate layer, and then I'll bring that above the hue and saturation hue and saturation layer and then right click create clippy mask so this is now only on the dolphin this is how I color match um, objects into into what I want to do um, you can see it doesn't look very good now but <coughs> if I go again down to color and now he fits he looks like he belongs here but it's a bit too much because I want I'll, I want him to have some of his natural colour as well, so I'll bring the opacity down. So I'll bring it back up to maybe maybe fifty percent, and that just um, kind of blends him into the background a bit to make him look like he fits more into the scene. And then I'll click on the dolphin layer again, and just because I want him, he's meant to look like he's inside the bubble. I'll just Bring that passy down just, just um just uh, maybe 80 85 and now he's um it looks like he's inside the bubble so that, that's that's how I got that effect and if I wanted to keep going with it I might go click to the sky and go layer new new layer and then create clipping mask again. Um, I'll if these aren't black and white, you can click here and they'll go back to black and white. So, and then if you want to change them, so that's your foreground color now, which will be your paintbrush. <coughs> and now I'm on 17%. If I just want a little bit more light on him on this side because of the lights coming from this side, I'll just paint some on here and then normal. Overlay. That's probably a bit much. Just a, just a little bit more. Maybe, maybe soft light. Yeah. Just a little bit more. On that side. And um, I might go up the top and go put a gradient map on the whole lot, just for a bit more contrast. And then we can reverse it like that. And then it's obviously too much. So I'll go to opacity again, bring it back down, and just how much, just probably, yeah, 30% maybe. And, um, <coughs> yeah, that's, that's how I make the, um, this bubble transparent, so you can basically see through it, and put, you can put stuff in it. And, um, it's a little bit how, it's a little bit like how I do maybe a bottle something to make that transparent but uh, I use the blending modes a little bit in a different way I have I do have a tutorial for that um, it's a written tutorial though on my even art account so yeah that's basically this how, I, how I've done this and that's it so thanks for watching hope you liked it you can move this around if you want and put it anywhere so it's a bit different where the light is so I could um make this multiply a little bit more and you can just play around with the blending modes 
I think this is a good way to kind of learn how to use blending modes and the different things you can do to blend images together. So yeah, hope you liked it and thanks for watching.